Ethan had a really rare type of leukaemia that very few children get. So it was a chronic form of leukaemia, that, um, which really just meant that it was never going to go away by itself. The only way that they could resolve it was um, to actually do something with his bone marrow to, so that he was um, creating new cells. Um, whereas a lot of the leukaemias are acute forms, this was quite different, this form. He was four months old when he was diagnosed with that. So he came to hospital. We were living in Darwin at the time and we had to come down to Melbourne for treatment. And first of all, he had uh, two courses of chemotherapy and the chemotherapy was really to control the leukaemia, um, but it couldn't uh, solve the problem. The only way to actually resolve the problem was to get rid of all of his um, cells in his blood and to replace them with new cells. So initially they tried to look for a bone marrow match for him but there wasn't a bone marrow match was there. So myself or Ethan's father or his sister who was two weren't a match and we couldn't get a, another good match for him so then they looked at cord blood. The cord blood, is, as we understood it, and when, we, when Ethan was diagnosed with leukaemia, we knew nothing about leukaemia, and we knew nothing about bone marrow transplants or cord blood. And so what we were told was that um, this was the blood that they'd saved um, when the baby was born, um, and it was very rich in cells, so they were able to use um, that type of blood for a range of different um, conditions. And fortunately for us, um, his form of leukaemia was um, one of the types of conditions that they could use cord blood for. Mm -hmm. So um, when he was uh, had his leukaemia, he had to go through a really intensive course of chemotherapy and that basically wiped out all of the cells um, in his blood and in his bone marrow. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't produce any more um, cells himself and they had to replace those with the cord blood. So the cord blood came in and the cells from the cord blood uh, generated and then um, that's what um, ultimately saved him. It's amazing to think that something that you know the mothers donated, you know, given that cord blood, you know, she could have kept it herself or she could have just chosen not to not to donate it. Um, but she did donate it and that particular cord blood sample was the perfect one for Ethan. He had to have a, a course of chemo before he had the cord blood but that was really just to prepare himself for having um, the cord blood administered. And we didn't know what to expect. We thought maybe he was going to have an operation or um, something. And really all it was, was um, one of the nurses came down and he had 40 mils in a syringe of cord blood, so it was only a tiny little amount, which they injected into, he had a line that went straight into his um, veins, and they just injected this blood straight in. Ethan was amazing when he had his um, cord blood transplant. It was very, um, it was early days for that type of transplant. So when he had his, he was eight months old, but he was only about six kilos. So he was, he was tiny. He'd stopped growing from three kilos, uh, from about three months. Um, and so he was a tiny, tiny little baby at that stage. Um, and he had, from when, before he got sick, he was starting to lift his head up and roll over and do all the things that a, a three-month-old baby could do. Um, but over the period from three months to eight months, he um, lost all those abilities that he did have and he could only lie there. He couldn't lift his head up or do anything. Um, he lost the ability to uh, feed, so he had a tube. Didn't you? Can you remember those? photos of yourself with a tube um, that went into his nose because he couldn't um, feed anymore by himself. Um, so from really as soon as he had the cord blood transplant, within two or three weeks he was starting to, to improve. Um, and it took him a while, it took him a number of months before he could 
learnt how to feed again and he got the strength to be able to, to move and sit up but um, you started to see those changes straight away. It was just, it was quite miraculous really. I come back to see her every, Dr Karen, every 12 months to just have a little um, test to see if my blood's um, good.